Hi everyone, I'm here in the truck with Mike and we're just going to have a little chat about freedom. freedom. We're going to talk about Ottawa 2022. Oh, it's just in the way. It's a <laughs> boom oh, truck. Okay. Oh, it's his boom truck. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Look at that. He has a little boom truck in his boom truck in his truck. Yeah. So yeah, I'll turn the camera around and then um, we're just going to have a talk and see how that goes. All right, so uh, Mike. For a couple of years now, yeah. met you here up in Shelburne, which is where we are right now. And um, and then I know we, you didn't go to Rolling Thunder, did you? No. No, I but not. you did go to the first anniversary yeah, of the truck the convoy. Yeah, that yeah, was well, fun, wasn't yeah, it? it? Yeah, it was good, yeah. And we were there together yeah. and, and both uh, Mike and I didn't, for, I don't know why Mike didn't, but for reasons of our own, that we did not get to Ottawa in 2022 for the well, we the original. Yeah, well, 20, the original. Oh, 22, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. original. Yeah, I didn't uh, go to the original convoy. And so I just thought we'd talk about that because, you know, that truck convoy, the protest in Ottawa, definitely changed a whole lot of our lives. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. And it... And there were thousands of people that went and, you know, of course, including big trucks and vehicles and things, yeah. but thousands of people did get into Ottawa, but there was probably hundreds of thousands, if not yeah, more, that, that, that were together with it, that didn't, were able there. to go, yeah. but our hearts and soul were there. We were watching everything and you and I are one of those the hundreds of thousands. Yeah. And so I just thought we'd talk about that a little bit because it's, it's for me i'll tell you what how it is for me is that there's a little piece of my soul that feels like there's a little hole there that mm. i didn't get to that do you yeah. feel that oh, or yeah, no i do yes okay yes. Uh, there's there's definitely i i missed out on something that was really terrific yeah, like all of canada got together yeah, the unity was awesome and yeah i i regret not going yes I definitely do did you choose not to go, or were you just kind of not I able? I, I, I wasn't able to yeah. go. Yeah. I wasn't able to go because, I had, first of all, I had commitments that I couldn't uh, get out of, yeah. but that was fine. And then, you know what? I could not find a way to get there. Mm. I didn't have a car, which I still don't have a car, and I didn't know anybody that you know was from i live in toronto so like who, who's a freedom fighter i don't know yeah. we were just barely knowing each other yeah. and uh so i mean we didn't know each other at all now but, our family is but now huge. we're family and i get rides <laughs> and you know i can get bus but at that time as you all probably remember that us unvaccinated were not allowed on trains and yeah. planes and automobiles you know yeah, exactly. um, so I couldn't even fly there or take a yeah. train so I was so frustrated but the one thing that I thought was pretty cool about th those of us that didn't go is that I hope your flag isn't disappearing yeah, yeah, oh I think it did okay probably on the ground over here yeah, yeah it's it's is it all right? Sidewalk. Yeah. It's okay. okay. <laughs> so, my Mike's flag just flew away. And so, um, what was I saying? Um, oh, so we got to see it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. We got to from see it through lives. live streams. Yeah, live streams, yes. And, um, and seeing the truth. Yeah, seeing the truth, and that was in an incredible industry kind of grew from there, that yeah. live streaming. And so I was watching live streams, and I was watching like House of Commons, and just as much as I could get into my eyeballs, mm -hmm. right? Were you doing the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was pretty much, I was stuck to it like glue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like everything, save, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know if we'll ever be able to feel that piece of our soul that kind of missed out on that, but yeah. we try. So, yeah. you know, I think it's time for some of us to a little bit, you know, I don't know, a little bit of like, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, to, to actually have been in Ottawa, I, I, with the people that were in Ottawa, I can see just the immense love that, that from the people that did go to Ottawa during the convoy. And it's just, it's just heartwarming. <laughs> yeah, it is heartwarming. Yeah. It, it truly yeah, is. It truly so we'll is. kind of put this to a stop. But I do also want to say that because many of you know that I've been locked out of Facebook, so which means I cannot 
and I'm the administrative Canadian Women for Freedom, the creator of, etc. And so I can't do anything. I can't post. I can't accept your, you know, people's posts. But there are a few people out there that have the ability to do so because of circumstances. And Mike is one of them. So mm-hmm. thank you, Mike, for doing all that for on You're my welcome. behalf. On your own, I'll of course, be, but be, on my I'll behalf. Be, I'll be throwing more memories. <laughs> okay. Right. I will be. Well, we'll get a picture of us together again. That was mm-hmm. Shelburne that you just saw there for a second. Okay, bye great. everybody. Wait, <laughs> freedom. 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 Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>